Okay, so welcome back everyone. So we are done with concentrations and conversions. So let us proceed to dilutions. So we need to study dilutions kasi a lot of uh, a lot of procedures in the laboratory lalo na sa CC and sa immuno will be dealing with dilutions, okay? So these are our, are our objectives. So we need to uh, calculate mga particular dilutions, final dilutions, quantity of the substances in a dilution, and then mga simple and serial dilution. We will go through them one by one. So topic outline, introduction, then simple dilutions, then serial dilutions, then sample problems. So first, what is a dilution? So diba when you think of the word dilution, so sabihin mo na, Ika dilute po na oy, kalab now po na oy. So dilution is actually a weakened solutions. Okay, so weakened solutions ang dilutions. Okay, kasi, di ba? For example, gusto mo idilute yung ihi mo, di ba? So kung gusto mo idilute yung ihi mo, lagyan mo siya ng water. Okay, for it to become more dilute, di ba? Sinasabi niya more dilute, parang mas malab now siya na solution, di ba? Kaya siya weakened solutions. Kasi parang ginaano mo siya, uh, parang ginababa mo ang kanyang concentration. Ginapababa mo ang kanyang concentration. So it is a ratio of concentrated or stock solution to the final volume of the solution. Okay? So it is composed of the substance to be diluted. For example, you want to dilute serum. Di ba? Serum is a part of our blood after centrifugation, yung ano, yung sa upper part of our blood. So you want to dilute serum. Tapos, magkaroon ka rin ng diluent. So actually, it is the substance. Then, i-dilute mo siya with the diluent para makuha mo yung iyong final volume. Okay? So substance plus diluent equals the final volume. Yun na yung iyong dilution. Okay? So ito, makukuha din natin later yung dilution factor. So, yung dilution factor, sige, ito. Okay, so, dilute 1 milliliter of serum with 9 milliliters of sal saline or, uh, or 0.9% sodium chloride, di ba yan? Saline or saline. So, depends on how you pronounce it. So, dilution is actually the volume of the solute divided by the total volume of the solution, okay? So, what is the volume of the solute? So, diba, dilution equals the volume of the solute over the total volume of the solution, okay? So, ganyan ang kanyang formula. So, what is the volume of the solute? Diba, 1 milliliter of serum. Kasi ang gusto nating i-dilute is yung serum. So, lagay mo dito, 1 milliliter. Tapos, 9 milliliters of saline ang ating uh, diluent. Pero hindi iyan ang ating total volume of the solution. Kasi diba, the total volume of the solution is actually solute plus solvent. Diba? Or diluent. Yung diluent and solvent, the same lang yan sila. So, 1 milliliter plus 9 milliliters equals 10 ml. Kaya ang nakalagay dyan is 10 ml. So, hindi mo pwedeng ilagay kung ano yung diluent lang or yung ano lang, solvent lang. Dapat ilagay mo sa denominator is yung total volume ng solution. So, 1 milliliter over 10 milliliters equals the dilution is 1 is to 10. Okay? 1 is to 10 or 1 tenth. Tapos, di ba, may sinabi ako kaninang dilution factor. So, yung dilution factor, ito siya yung kung ano ang nasa denominator ng dilution. So, the dilution factor or the diluting factor is 10. So, na-dilute mo yung 1, mm, 1 ml of serum by 10 kasi yun yung dilution factor niya. So, I hope gets nyo guys, di ba? So, the dilution is 1 tenth or 1 is to 10 pero ang dilution factor niya is 10. Okay? Deletion factor niya is 10. Okay? So, sige. Let's start with the first example. 5 milliliters of serum is diluted up to 25 ml with saline. What is the serum dilution? What is the serum to saline or saline ratio? 
Okay? So, ang nabigay sa atin is 5 milliliters of serum. Diba? 5 ml of serum. Yan ang ating solute. Diba? Kasi yan ang gusto nating i-dilute. It's diluted up to 25 ml. So, pag sinabing up to 25 ml, hindi iyan ang diluent. Kasi dinilute natin siya up to 25 ml. So, the 25 ml is actually the total volume na. Okay? So, total volume is 25 ml. So, what is the serum dilution? Diba? Dilution equals solute over total volume. So, 5 milliliters of serum over 25 ml. Diba? Pag sinabi mo kasing diluted up to 25 ml, gusto natin 25 ml yung total volume niya. Kaya, total volume na yung 25 ml. It is not the uh, it is not the diluent, the volume of the diluent. So, its dilution is one-fifth, di ba? One-fifth kasi 5 over 25, one-fifth. So, its dilution is one-fifth. What is the serum to saline ratio? So, ito, ang ratio kasi, ratio is solute over solvent. Okay, solute over solvent. Ganyan ang ratio natin. So, ito, dito sa dilution, ang nasa baba, total volume. Pero ang sa ratio, solvent yung nasa baba. So, how do we get the solvent? Diba, the solvent is total volume minus solute. Diba? Kasi tatanggalin mo lang naman yung solute sa total volume. So, the total volume is 25 ml minus the solute 5 ml equals 20 ml. So, ang ginamit natin na saline is 20 ml. So, the ratio from the serum to saline ratio is 5 ml over 20 ml. So, diba? Different siya from the dilution, which is the total volume, which is 1 fourth, 1 fourth, or 1 is to 4. Ito, 1 is to 5. Same lang kasi yung is to. And, ano, yung ratio na is to at saka ang, ano, uh, ang fraction. Same lang yan sila. So the dilution is one-fifth or one is to five, while the serum to saline ratio is one is to four. So one part serum is to four parts saline. Okay? So ayun siya. The dilution is one-fifth, then the serum to saline ratio is one-fourth or one is to four. Okay? So, I hope gets nyo yan ha, na different ang ratio from the dilution. So, dilution, total volume ang nasa baba. Then, serum to saline ratio is solute to solvent ratio. Okay? Sige. So, dilute 3 ml of a serum with 25 ml of saline. What is the dilution? So, binigyan tayo ng solute which is... 3 ml of serum. Then, saline is 25 ml. So, ito siya, solvent pa yan siya, or diluent, is 25 ml. Okay, diba? Tama. So, ang, ang dilution is solute over total volume. Diba? Solute over total volume. So, solute over total volume. So, Need pa natin kunin ang total volume. So, total volume equals solute plus solvent, di ba? Or diluent. So, 3 ml plus 25 ml equals 28 ml. Okay? 28 ml. So, so ang dilution natin is 3 ml solute over 28 ml solute. Uh, Solution, total volume. So, 3 over 28. Okay, 3 over 28 is actually 1 over 9.33. Okay? So, 1 over 9.33. So, the dilution is 1 over 9.33. Okay, so gets nyo na guys, basta dilution ha, solute over total volume. Sige, ito, 
make 250 ml of a one-tenth dilution of serum in saline. So ang binigay sa atin is dilution, which is 1 over 10 dilution, 1 over 10 dilution, tapos total volume, ang gusto natin is 250 ml ang solution natin, di ba? So since binigyan na tayo ng dilution and total volume, then ang formula ng dilution is D equals solute over total volume, then pwede natin siya i-substitute para makukuha natin ang solute. Okay, gets nyo guys, di ba? Dilution natin is 1 tenth, di ba? 1 tenth. Tapos, solute is, sabi natin X ang solute, okay? X ang solute. Then the total volume is 250 ml. Then cross multiply mo siya, di ba? Gets nyo? 250 equals 10x, di ba? Tapos, para makuha natin ang x, divide natin by 10. Divide natin by 10, cancel. So, x equals 25. So, 25 ml of serum. Okay? 25 ml of serum ang ating kailangan. Tapos, paano natin alam, mala, malalaman kung ilang saline ang ating kailangan? Di ba? Total volume equals solute plus solvent. Tapos since ang kailangan natin is ang solvent, so solvent equals total volume minus solute, di ba? Total volume minus solute. So total volume is 250 milliliters coming from this minus 25 ml of serum, which is our solute. So 250 minus 25 is 225 ml saline or saline, di ba? So, 25 ml of serum is added with saline to bring the total volume up to 250. So, actually, 25 ml of serum is added with 225 ml of saline to bring the total volume up to 250 ml. So, di ba, gets nyo na, guys? So, yung 250 ml, yun yung gagawin natin. So, yun dapat ang total volume niya. Okay. So, ito. Determine the amount of serum in a 40 ml of a 1 -fifth dilution of serum in saline. Okay? So, determine the amount of serum. So, di ba, ang serum... Yan ang ating solute, di ba? Solute. So, solute ang hinahanap natin. In 40 ml of a 1 -fifth dilution. So, itong 40 ml of a 1 -fifth dilution, meaning total volume of 40 ml, that ang dilution is 1 -fifth. Kasi 40 ml ng 1 -fifth na dilution, which is yung ginawa natin, di ba? Yun ang ating total volume. So, uh, uh, dilution equals solute over total volume. Okay? So, ilan ang ating dilution? One-fifth. Then, solute natin is X. Sabihin natin, solute is X. Then, total, uh, total volume is 40 ml. Then, again, cross-multiply. Kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina. 40 equals 5X. So, divided by 5, divided by 5, X equals 40 divided by 5, 8 ml. Okay? So, 8 ml of serum in 40 ml of a 1 -fifth dilution of serum with saline. Okay? So, gets nyo na guys. 8 ml ang nilagay sa 40 ml na solution. So, ilang saline or saline ang nilagay natin? So, di ba? 40 minus 8. So, actually, 32 ml of NSS ang nilagay natin. Okay? Para ma-bring up siya to 40 ml. Okay? So, 8 plus 32, 40 ml. Okay? So, done na tayo with simple dilution. Yun siya yung mga simple dilution. Yung kaisa mo lang i-dilute. Pero yung serial dilution, this is the production of solutions having different concentrations of the same substance. So the concentration of the solution being diluted decreases with increased dilution. So habang dinidilute mo siya, di ba, serial, from the name serial, idilute mo siya ng idilute hanggat, makukuha, hanggat makuha mo yung uh, kailangan mo na dilution. So dilute, dilute, dilute. So patuloy-tuloy mo lang siya idilute. 
Okay, wait lang. Balik tayo. So, ganito siya. Diba? What if you want to dilute serum? Diba? So, may serum ka. Dito, serum. That ang serial dilution, ganito kasi siya, guys. Itong serum mo, i-dilute mo siya sa first tube. So, dilute mo siya with mag-add ka ng saline dito or saline. Add mo yung, yung uh, serum. Then, kukunin mo, kuha ka na naman dito. Then, i-dilute mo na naman siya sa next. Diba? Tapos, kukuha ka na naman, then dilute mo na naman siya sa next. Kaya siya sinabi na serial dilution. Okay? So, sige. Ito, ito lang yung same kanina. So, what is the dilution if you add 1 ml aliquot of a, of a specimen to 9 milliliters of diluent? So, same lang ito kanina. Aliquot and diluent. Para lang yung siyang solute and solvent. Okay? So again, volume of solute is 1 milliliter of the aliquot and then diluent plus diluent plus aliquot is 9 ml plus 1 ml is 10 ml. So 1 ml is 1 ml over 10 ml is 1 tenth. Okay? So dilution niya pa rin is 1 tenth. Ano nga ang diluting factor niya? 10, di ba? So the same lang yan siya. 1 ml of aliquot in 9 ml of diluent is 1 tenth dilution. Kasi need natin yan siya for the next uh, for the next problem which is serial dilution. So ito siya. This is an example of a serial dilution problem. So all successive tubes would have 9 ml of diluent. So lahat ng tubes mo, 9 ml ang diluent. Okay? So yan yung solvent natin, di ba? Diluent. You would then transfer 1 ml of the initial diluted sample into the next tube mix then transfer 1 ml to the next mix, and so on. If you had 5 tubes, what would be the final dilution of tube 4? Okay, so ganyan siya, ba? So, ang sinabi natin kanina, may 5 tubes tayo, which is ito, 5 tubes, ba? 5 tubes. Tapos, sabi doon sa ano, 9 ml of diluent sa each tube. So, 9 ml of diluent. Okay, so we will add 9 ml of diluent. Tapos, kukuha tayo ng 1 ml from the aliquot or yung 1 ml ang aliquot from the sample or the stock solution. Then, ilalagay natin siya sa first tube. Okay? Kuha tayo ng 1 ml. So, yan. Add na yung 1 ml. Maging 10 ml na ang ating first tube. Tapos, uh, 1 ml, 10 ml, 1 ml plus 9 ml equals 10 ml. So, ang dilution niya is 1 tenth, di ba? Tapos, kapag serial dilution kasi, yung, yung, yung next, ay, yung na-dilute mo sa tube 1, yun na naman yung kukunan mo ng, ng aliquot or ng sample na ilalagay mo sa tube number 2. Okay? So, kukuha ka sa tube number 1, then i-add mo sa tube number 2. 1 ml from tube 1, Add sa tube number 2. So, 1 ml plus 9 ml is 10 ml. Ganito kasi yan. ba? 1 ml plus 9 ml equals 10 ml. Pero, ang kanyang dilution is 1 is to 100. Na, or 1, 100. 1 over 100. Kasi, kailangan mong i-multiply ang 1 tenth times dilution nito, which is also 1 ten. Diba? 1 ten din ang dilution nito. So, 1 ten times 1 ten is 1 over 100. So, gets nyo siya? Kasi, diba, from dito, ito yung pinaka-concentrated na solution, which is, ano, yan yung, yung pure, diba? Pure solution. Then, paglagay mo dito, yung 1 ml ng pure solution into 9 ml of the aliquot, 1 over 10 na ang kanyang uh, ang kanyang dilution. Tapos since 1 over 10 na ito, tapos ilalagay mo pa siya dito, yung 1 over 10, madilute pa siya further. ba kasi diluted na yung kinuha natin. Hindi na tayo kumuha galing sa first stock solution na pinaka-concentrated. ba So, so yung 1 ml from tube number 1, lagay dito, maging 10 ml. So, 1 over 10 din ang dilution nito. Pero need natin siya i-multiply dito sa 1 over 10 dito sa first tube kasi nga galing na siya doon sa first tube. So 1 over 10 times 1 over 10 is 1 over 100. So again, kuha na naman tayo sa tube number 2. 
Tapos add na naman siya sa 3, 1 ml. Then 1 ml of the solute plus 9 ml equals 10 ml. So ito na naman, 1 over 100, multiply mo na naman siya by 1 tenth. Kasi diba 1 ten na naman ang ano nito. 1 ten na naman ang uh, dilution nito will be 1 over 1,000. So, di ba? Mas naga-dilute, mas naga-labnaw na, mas naga-labnaw siya as you, uh, as you dilute it serially from tube number 1 or from the most pure solution and up until the fifth tube. So, palit-ulit lang siya. So, balik ko. Aka na naman sa tube number 3. Lagay mo na naman siya sa fourth tube. Tapos 1 ml na naman. Di ba? Ganyan siya. Mas na naga-dilute na mas naga-dilute siya mas nagawiken ang solution. So, 1 over 1,000, multiply mo na naman by 1 tenth dilution. 1 over 10,000 na naman. Tapos, kukuha ka na naman sa 4th tube. Tapos, lagay mo naman siya 1 ml sa 5th tube. Tapos, maging 10 ml na naman. So, 1 tenth na naman ito. 1 tenth. Then, multiply mo na naman dito. So, 1 over 100,000 na siya. So, the 4th tube, so ganito siya. Diba? 1 ml of solute plus 9 ml of diluent. Ito yung 1 ml dito, yun yung galing sa pure solution. Diba? Galing to siya sa pure solution. Or galing siya sa stock solution. Sa stock. <clears throat> so, 1 ml dito, tapos add mo siya ng 9 ml. Okay, excuse me. So, di ba, from the stock solution, uh, kukuha ka ng 1 ml. Then, i-add mo siya sa 9 ml na diluent. So, magiging 10 ml siya. Okay? Then, ang dilution niya is 1 over 10, which is 1 tenth. So, ang final dilution niya is 1 tenth. Okay? Then, ito sa next, kukunin mo dito sa tube 1, dito mo kukunin yung 1 ml papunta sa tube number 2. Tapos, yung 1 ml na yun, i-add mo siya sa 9 ml of diluent para maging total volume is 10 ml. Then, ang dilution na sa tube na yun is still 1 over 10, di ba? Kasi 1 divided by 10 is 1 over 10. Pero since kinuha natin sa 1 over 10 final dilution ang ang 1 ml na ito, multiply natin ang final dilution ng tube number 1 with the tube dilution of tube number 2. Multiply nyo yan, magiging 1 over 100. 1 over 10 times 1 over 10, 1 over 100. Okay? So, okay na, 1 over 100. Tapos dito, same na naman, kukuha ka na naman dito, lalagay mo naman 1 ml sa tube number 3, dilute mo with 9 ml, then 10 ml na naman total volume, then tube dilution niya naman is 1, 1 10, kasi 1 ml over 10 ml total volume. Then, multiply mo ang tube dilution ng tube number 3 with the final dilution of tube number 2. So, 1 is to 1,000. Okay? So, easy lang siya. So, di ba, it, ang dito na mga part, the same lang siya actually. The same lang siya. 1 ml siya lahat ang solute, 9 ml lahat ng diluent, total volume 10 ml lahat. Ang tube dilution nila, the same lang naman sila kasi 1 ml to 10 ml total volume. So same lang naman dito. Dito lang tayo magkakaiba sa final dilution kasi need natin siya i-multiply from the final dilution of the, uh, the previous tube. So, gets niyo guys. Ano lang siya, multiply niyo lang ang final dilution nung tube na before na yun, then multiply niyo siya with the tube dilution of the same tube. Okay? So, 1 over 10 times 1 over 10, 1 over 100. 1 over 100 times 1 over 10, 1 over 1,000. 1 over 1,000 times 1 over 10, 1 over 10,000. That's 1 over 10,000 times 1 over 10, 1 over 100,000. So, the answer is 1 over 10,000. Kasi di ba ang tanong kanina, final dilution of tube number 4. Okay, so 1 over 10,000. Okay? Sige. Okay. Sige. So, ito. 
you are given a series of five tubes, each of which contains 2 ml of diluent. Then 0.5 ml is added to the first tube and 0.5 ml is carried out in the remaining tubes. So what is the dilution of the mixture in, in tube 3 and tube 5? Okay? So, uh, ang ating diluent is 2 ml. Okay? So, 2 ml ang ating diluent. Then, 0 0.5 ml ang ating solute. Okay? Then, 5 tubes tayo. 5 tubes. Okay. So, ayun. Ganyan siya. 2 ml siya lahat, di ba? Tapos, kukuha tayo ng 0 0.5 ml from the stock solution. Ilalagay natin sa first uh, tube. 0 0.5 ml will be 2.5. So, 0 0.5 over 2.5 is 1 fifth. Diba? 0 0.5 over 2.5 is 1 fifth. So, ganyan lang siya. Patuloy-patuloy lang siya. Diba? Yung kagaya yung ginawa ko kanina. So, 0 0.5 ml, nalagay na naman siya sa 2 ml, which is 1 fifth pa rin siya. Ang tube deletion nito. So, 1 fifth times 1 fifth, 1 over 25. So, kukuha ka na naman ng 0 0.5 ml from tube number 2, lagay mo sa tube number 3. Then, 2 ml plus 0 0.5 ml is 2.5 ml. So, 1 over 125 na siya. Then, kukuha ka naman sa tube number 3, lagay mo sa tube number 4, 0 0.5 ml. So, ba at least gets nyo ba yung paano ginagawa yung serial dilution. Dilute mula siya ng dilute hanggang makuha mo yung kailangan mo na dilution. Okay? So, kung ano yung na-dilute nyo na tube, doon na naman kayo kukuha ng inyong solute. So, mas nagiging dilute siya as uh, the number of the tubes uh, magdami. Okay? Sige. So, ipapakita pa natin yung ano niyan. Okay. So, ito, di ba? The volume of the solute is 0.5 ml. Ano 0.5 ml, di ba? Tapos, the volume of the diluent is 2 ml. Okay, di ba? 2 ml. So, what is the total volume? 2.5 ml. Di ba? So, dapat, sabayan nyo ako ha. Then, what is the tube dilution? So, 0.5 ml over 2.5 ml is 1 fifth. 1 fifth. Diba? So, one-fifth. So, ang final dilution nito, since tube number one pa man siya, galing pa man siya sa stock solution or sa pure solution, so, one-fifth pa rin siya dito. Diba? One-fifth. So, dito, kukuha na naman tayo ng 0 0.5 ml from tube one, then 2 ml from na diluent. So, the same total volume is 2.5 ml. Then, ang tube dilution niya is still 1 fifth kasi 0 0.5 ml over 2.5 ml is 1 fifth. Okay, gets nyo guys? Pero ito, multiply natin ang 1 fifth na final dilution dito, multiply natin dito sa tube dilution ng tube number 2. 1 fifth times 1 fifth is 1 over 25. Okay? So, same lang dito, 0 0.5, 2 ml, then 2.5 ml, then same pa rin, tube dilution is still 1 fifth kasi diba, 0 0.5 over 2.5. Where dito, sa final dilution, 1 over 25 times 1 fifth dito will be 1 over 125. Okay? So ganyan lang siya, 0 0.5 ml, 2 ml, 2.5 ml, then 1 fifth pa rin dito, then 1 over 125 times 1 fifth is 1 over 625. Okay? So, ito, 1 over 625 times 1 fifth is 1 over 3,125. So, ang tube 3 is 1 over 125, while the tube 5 is 1 over 3125. Okay? So, ito. Last, uh, ano na, last example. 
you are given a series of 10 tubes. Ito 10 tubes, each of which contains 4 ml of diluent. Okay? 4 ml of diluent. So 1 ml of fluid is added to the first tube and a dilution using 0 0.5 ml is carried out in the remaining tubes. So what is the serum concentration in tubes 4 and 8? Okay, so the basinabi dito na 1 ml of fluid is added to the first tube and then a dilution using 0 0.5 ml is carried out in the remaining tubes. Okay, so ang first tube natin, 1 ml. Okay, first tube natin is 1 ml. Then the diluent is 4 ml. So the total volume 1 plus 4 is 5 ml. ba? 5 ml. Ang first, ang first tube natin is total volume 5 ml. So, 1 ml over 5 ml, the tube dilution is 1 fifth. Then, the final dilution is still 1 fifth kasi diba, galing siya sa stock solution. Okay? Pero, sa tube number 2, kasi sinabi dito, a dilution using 0 0.5 ml is carried out in the remaining tubes. So, hindi na 1 ml ang volume ng ating solute. 0 0.5 ml na. So, di ba, gets niyo guys, sa remaining tubes, 0 0.5 ml na siya. Hindi na siya 1 ml. Sa first tube lang ang 1 ml according to the example. So, 0 0.5 ml, then divide mo siya. I then plus 4 ml of diluent kasi di ba nakalagay dito 4 ml of diluent lahat ng 10 tubes. So 4 ml of diluent din yan siya lahat ng 10 tubes. So 0 0.5 ml plus 4 ml, 4.5 ml lang ang total volume ng tube number 2. So 0 0.5 ml divided by 4.5 ml is... One ninth, okay, one ninth. So ang tube dilution ng tube number two is one ninth. Then multiply mo siya with the final dilution of tube number one. One fifth times one ninth is one over forty five. So the dilution of tube number two is one is two forty five, okay. Tapos dito ka na naman kukuha ng solute na zero point five ml from tube number 2 to tube number 3. Then 4 ml, then 4.5 ml, then 1 ninth pa rin siya kasi 0 0.5 over 4.5. Then 1 ninth times 1 over 45 equals 1 over 225. And so on and so forth hanggang sa tube number 10. Kasi tingnan nyo, from tube number 2 to tube number 10, same lang naman ang kanilang mga tube dilutions. Kasi 0 0.5 ml lahat ng solute nila. Then... 4 ml lahat ng diluent, 4.5 ml lahat ng total volume. So ang tube dilution nila is 1 ninth silang lahat from tube number 2 to tube number 10. Pero ang tube number 1 lang ang naiba kasi 1 ml ang kanyang solute. So same lang yan sila lahat, 1 ninth, 1 ninth, 1 ninth, 1 ninth. Ang difference ng nila is ang final dilution kasi ba tube dilution ng current tube times the final dilution of the previous tube. So 1 over 225. Then multiply mo na naman siya by 1 over 9. 1 over 2,025. Then times 1 ninth mo na naman siya. 1 over 18,225. Until maabot ka sa 10th tube. Okay? So what is the serum concentration in tubes 4 and 8? So ang answer is sa tube 4, 1 over 2,025. Then sa tube 8, 1 over uh, 1 million, uh, sir, a one million, a thirteen million two hundred eighty six twenty five. Okay. So ganyan lang siya. So we have learned about uh, simple dilution and serial dilution. Okay. So you really you really need to understand it before you can solve the problems regarding dilution and conversion. So thank you everyone, and I'm sorry if. Uh, medyo ganito ang boses ko kasi ilang days na ako may sakit. So, please bear with my voice if nag-ubo-ubo ako. But, and uh, I hope you learned a lot and you uh, took into your mind and heart kung ano yung naturo namin sa inyo today. Because 
you will apply these learnings sa laboratory ninyo and when you go to Immunocero. So thank you everyone and God bless.